Tennessee joined with 29 other states and the Department of Justice in suing Ticketmaster and their parent company, Live Nation. That lawsuit accuses them of holding live music hostage as a monopoly and breaking antitrust laws. As News 2's Kenley Hargett explains, some Music City industry insiders think this lawsuit is far overdue. Beyonce's Renaissance World Tour and Taylor Swift's Eras Tour had fans in a whirlwind, with some fans telling me they either paid excessive prices or dealt with ongoing technical issues. Those issues left many fans and even state attorney generals questioning business practices of large ticket marketplaces like Ticketmaster and Live Nation. There's a lot of people that would love to take that market share, but they just don't have the resources like a huge company like Live Nation has. They just... They're, they've squeezed out every mom and pop. 20-year music industry veteran Dan Dugan agrees with the Department of Justice's view on Live Nation's power hold on live music. He stressed that he is not against Ticketmaster or Live Nation, but says changes need to be made. Fan, they don't like the ticketing service. They don't like the act of buying it, the way it's set up. It, they don't... It's not enjoyable. Tennessee legislators have continued to look at junk fees that are added to every ticket and led to heartache for some buyers. Not to mention Dugan tells me Live Nation takes out fees for every ticket sold. So by the time the artist receives their cut, it's dwindled down. I would love to see Live Nation uh, there uh, uh, managing the the uh, venues and the ticketing services be completely separate because I, I feel that's a... Uh, uh, it, it, it creates bad blood when when they own the ticketing service, they own the venue, they get to dictate everything that, that goes on. Live Nation released this statement on the DOJ's lawsuit. It reads in part, this lawsuit against Live Nation and Ticketmaster won't reduce ticket prices or service fees. Net profits show Live Nation and Ticketmaster do not wield monopoly power. They also say Ticketmaster's market share has declined since 2010, and the lawsuit distracts from real solutions that would decrease prices and protect fans, like letting artists cap resale prices. Artists like to play Live Nation venues, but but they don't like getting paid by Live Nation venues because <laughs> the way it's just all structured in. You know? Reporting in Nashville, Kenley Hargett, News 2. Dugan and other music industry veterans encourage fans to support their local venues in Nashville and buy their tickets directly from them. This not only helps the artists and the venue take home more money, but keeps the money in the local economy.